Hey, Dana here, and welcome to my vlog. If you want to see me change out headlights on this 97 Mustang, stay tuned. Okay, I'm a little pry, pry bar here. Set a little clip on the top. I'm gonna go down below again. Now that's now that's loose. Now I'm gonna get this one here. I'm gonna have to reuse this stuff, so alright. I can't get this one. That's how I go. Alright, this one I think. Push those tabs in. Where do I go? Alright, so. Looks like it. Let's just take the bulb out. Alright, same with the big one. Alright, so here we go. We got our light out. Now what you're going to do is transfer these and this over to that. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. When I went down to Wilbert's yesterday, is I showed you in that video. I found a set of headlights that came out of a 94. Or 95 or 96 or 97. I can't remember what that was. Maybe it was 95. So what we got right now is we go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and wire these. Wire, I guess, the, I guess they're part of the LED ring in here. Up. 
I guess it really doesn't matter as long as your neck one goes to black, one goes to brown. Yeah. Take this whole butt connector here. It's gonna go over a brown like so. Cut these yesterday. I was down there because I was looking for that radio. For the wife and I saw him I said I can't pass these up because they got the refractors or the uh, magnifying magnifying uh, lens on them which is what I've been looking for that's what you want Inserted. You take the other, other piece. You don't have to clean it or anything. Just slide it in this end right here, all the way up. Make sure it's all the way up. And take your pliers. Squeeze it. Okay, make sure you cut through the other, make sure you cut through the other wire. And now you're going to take this piece here and you're going to push it over the top of the other. And then now you're secure. Okay, so that's the brown, brown wire. Yeah. Yellow wire. Make sure it's all the way in there. Yeah, squeeze. Alrighty. All the way to it. Close your cap again. That takes care of that. Now we're going to do our little sliders lined up. Alright, this is like no fun. So what you're going to do is you make sure, you're going to make sure these guides, this is facing under down. And you got the one down below, like I just said. Those got a, these little, there's guides. And they got a guide on these here, here, down below. Also, this has got a guide over here, and it's got a guide into that. So now you're trying to get all these freaking things through the holes at the same time. It's not fun. Okay, now just a close up again. We got all these freaking connectors got to line up. This has got a little boot on it, so you got to keep an eye on that. Yeah. That's locked in. That's locked in. Um, they're gonna lock in on the back side here. You get a little push, push piece. Make sure that's locked in there. So it fell out on me a minute ago, so it was back to ground zero. All right, because um, when I was pushing in, this boot was having a hard time going through my, going through there, and I wasn't paying attention. Um, you can go ahead and take out on those, on your adjusters. quite so tight um, 
five to be green in here. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to pull this one in big time. I'm going to do it that way. Alright. Here we go. I'd like to see. See what happens. I got a nice gap. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right, there we are. I've got one side installed. And the thing I had to keep wor worrying about was those guides. Make sure they're on those guides I showed you. All right. What I wound up doing is I wound up putting another same setup with a clip on top and a clip down the bottom because what happens is after a while, these little locking pieces break out. And now you're not going to be able to get it to um, hold like this one here. See the little lock top, lock tab that did stay. So I want to put those in just like that because I have spares because of the fact that <laughs> I've already changed these out once. Um, but that might be an issue that you'll have. I'll get these changed out. I'm going to do a, uh, I'll do a comparison. I won't mess with this side right now oh um, but i guess i just did I, I popped that clip out of there but anyway um so i'll just leave it alone right now we'll see how they work let's uh kick it on real quick see what i got for light make sure i got light i got a running light i got a running light and i also got a halo which is cool not gonna be as wide a halo as that one, but that's all right. Um, I'm still not sure what this this one is. The running light that could just be that could also be a running light. You're not gonna have your big light. You're gonna have a little with the running light. Which means. Take that and you'll wire it into one of the other, one, of, one of these here. I get it. I get to it. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that comes on with that. I have to see. Okay, let's see what I got for a headlight now. All right. Okay, so. That's what you got. That's what we're looking at right now. Is that one there? Got a little bit wider. Got a little wider headlight beam on your low beam than on that one. I'm gonna have a low beam. Low beam. Okay. Oh, okay. That's your low beam. The other one was high beam. So that's your that's your low beam. Now you high. Now you got your high beam. Factor is out. Huh? I am wondering if that's part of high beam. I'll have to get on eBay and see if I can find, find those lights. Alright, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And we will catch you on the next Dana Crosby's Garage. And this is under Project 
Stang. I already see a difference. Can you tell? Big difference. That's low beam. Let's put high on. 